कनाडा प्रो रेसलिंग लीग सीजन दो को स्पॉन्सर बायोबल में ये है आज का पहला सेमीफाइनल देवियों सचनों हरियाणा हैवर्स की ओर से खेल रहे हैं इस आज के पहले चौथा किलोग्राम वर्ल्ड कुश्ती में सुमित शेरावर और जयपुर निंजास की ओर से जॉर्जिया के जगब First semi-final, Sumit Sharawat of the Haryana Hammers is going to be in action. The 25-year-old bronze medalist in the national championships is now going up against a much fancied opponent, Jakob Makarashvili of Jaipur Ninjas in the men's 74 kg category. Vesna Pepersky is the referee for this opening contest. And we're set for the first semi-final to get underway. I'm Raman Bhanot. With me is John Taylor. And John, there's no place to hide because all nine weight categories are going to be in action today in this semi-final. Absolutely, Raman. And uh, certainly no place to hide for Sumit Serwat, one of the only two wrestlers on the Haryana Hamas, Haryana Hamas team who has no win to his name so far. Three blocks and two losses. And up against the very impressive Jakob Makarashvili, who has one loss against uh, Jabrail Hasanov, um, but has won his other four bouts. Yes, and uh, in the group stage, these two grapplers were up against each other. And that is where Makarashvili had won. But here, yeah, the first takedown has come from Sumit Sharawat. So an interesting scenario there, but... Uh, as far as the points being awarded is concerned, nothing given by the referee. Don't understand that, but um, Sumit Sarawat determined to acquit himself well. He's in the orange. Yes, the Haryana Hammers colors, the orange and blue. The grappler to the right of your screen. Sumit has got his back towards you now, Sumit Sarawat. And now, getting a verbal... Warning from the referee. It's good to see a, a good uh, crowd in at the IG Stadium. But a takedown now by Makarashvili and a rollover as well. So two for the takedown, two for the rollover. It's 4-0 in favor of Makarashvili. Trying to make it six with another turnover. He's not going to succeed. But uh, I really don't understand why Sumit Sarawat did not get that first takedown. Was it because uh, his foot had slipped? Probably, but there's some enthusiastic supporters in the in the stands. Remember, these two had faced off against each other in the group stage, and that's where Makarashvili had uh, been victorious. He won that bout 3-0, so it wasn't really a completely one-sided contest. No, well, Sumit. I was just thinking in in terms of that takedown that if he had had it, it would have given him enormous confidence, just the start he wanted. Uh, not to be now trailing by four as we come up to two minutes gone in this first round and uh, it's still showing good strength and certainly not overawed in any way by Jacob Makarashvili. Makarashvili has a bronze of the World Cup in 2016. The European Championship bronze as well for the Georgian. He's definitely a strong contender in this bout. Definitely uh, the more fancy, the more experienced of the two grapplers on display here. Sarawat trying to press home an attack. Oh, almost pulls it off again, but good escape from Jakob Makarashvili. Very quick on his feet. It's good to see Elizabeth Rikadze sitting there, but of course this is uh, Mr. Kartike Sharma, uh, founder and promoter Pro Wrestling League, which is into its second season. It's just gotten bigger and better, the league over the years. Coming up to the last 10 seconds of the first round. Looks as if it's going to finish at 4-0, uh, 4-0. Four four lead for Jakob Makarashvili. But uh, Sumit Sarawat certainly won't have given this one away. 
he must fancy his chances. So, both wrestlers just getting a toweling down before they go into round two. And how important is that rollover going to be that uh, Makarashvili got on the back of the takedown? Gives him a four-point margin, which, of course, is a lot more secure than just a two-pointer. Vesna Paperski, the referee, just waiting for the signal. And that's the practice area we were looking at just a while ago. The grapplers getting ready for the next bout. But this is uh, the first bout of the day into round two. Nakarashvili up against uh, Sheravat. Sheravat is in the orange and blue. In steps Vesna Petersky and a warning going to Jakob Makarashvili. I think that might be for passivity because he obviously has got the four points in the bag and doesn't want to risk anything. Sharavat really has a tough ask ahead of him. He's got to make up that deficit of four points. And remember, Sumit Sharavat hasn't won a single bout this season. Or oh, runs the risk of another takedown. Yes, two more points is what it should be. Yes, two more points. It uh, it is for the blue corner, six to nothing. And this really is uh, now getting unsurmountable. Six zero for that man, Jakob Makarashvili. And have we got a, an injury? The Jaipur Ninjas uh, camp looking uh, a little positive here, and why not? Because their grapplers in the lead, six to nothing. Let's very quickly take a look at the road to uh, the semi-finals for Haryana Hammers. They were the unbeaten team, beat last year's uh, champions Mumbai 4-3, beat UP Dangal convincingly 5-2. The margin remained the same against the Delhi Sultans as well. Beat Jaipur Ninjas 5-2 as well. And uh, the last contest was yesterday and they won that as well, 5-2. And uh, five would do them, <laughs> even with a nine about uh, match five will take them there and again Makarashvili really getting on top takedown gets the rollover as well it's gone to 10 so now it's 10-0 Goldie Bell and Bupin they're looking just a little worried here I think every time they've uh, started a contest the opening bout has gone Haryana Hammers way more often than not and the the margin of victory, as you were, we were taking a look at that road to the semi-finals, 5-2 more often than not. The only team that really took them to the limit was uh, Mumbai Maharathis, who uh, you know, lost to them 3-4. Well, Bhupinder definitely saying that they spent their money on six people who they really thought could win every bout. I mean, that course won't happen. A belated attempt from Sumit Sarawat, trying to push his man out. Hasn't succeeded though. Coming up to five minutes gone, so just one minute left. That's the Georgian, Makarashvili. Young and old spectators have come every day to watch action in Pro Wrestling League Season 2. It's just gotten bigger. It's gotten better now. Trying something different, Sumit Sarawat. Trying to trip his opponent and get him down, pick up two points. Wasn't able to do that. And the joy with that, if he pulled it off exactly as he wanted, he might have had him over on his back and then he could have gone for a fall. But uh, he needs to go for desperate measures now because time is running out. Just 30 seconds less left and he's 10 points behind. Both grapplers showing tremendous upper body strength. Using those arm holds to try and wrestle their opponent down to the mat tapings coming loose near the wrists for uh, Sumit Sherawat 
he's oblivious to that. The referee is letting uh, things roll as well because the, she doesn't want to stop play. And there's not much time left. First blood to Jaipur Ninjas. Jacob Makarishvili, the victor. And he's a convincing uh, victor here. Points difference, 10 to nothing in favor of the Georgian. As we can see, Indu getting ready for her bout. She's going to be up next, Indu Chaudhary. But here's confirmation of the first bout of the day in the first semi-final. Sumit Sharavat going down to Jakob Makarashvili of the Jaipur Ninjas. And well, Jaipur Ninjas are 1-0 up in the tie. Remember, all night all nine weight categories will be contested tonight but we'll have the second weight category the women's 48 that bout coming up in just a bit stay with us